In this video, we are going to be learning some basic algebra terms, and it's really for beginners or just a review. A variable. So a variable is a symbol, usually a letter, that represents a number that is unknown. So for example, identify the variable variables here. The variable would be x. Example two, identify the variable or variables. The variables would be v and y. Example three, identify the variables. They would be b, z, and p. Next, a constant is a number that is on its own. So identify the constant or constants. They would be two and six. Example two, identify the constants or constant. It'd be five. Example three, identify the constant or constants. It'd be zero. So a constant doesn't have a variable attached to it. A coefficient is a number used to multiply a variable, so it'll have a variable with it. So in example one, identify the coefficient or coefficients. It'd be four because it's being multiplied by x. Example two, identify the coefficient or coefficients. It'd be seven because it's being multiplied by y. Identify the coefficient in example three or coefficients. The coefficients would be five and seven because five is being multiplied by b and seven is being multiplied by z squared. Next, we're going to learn about expressions. Algebraic expression includes one or more variables and is built from constants, variables, and the algebraic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and so forth. So these would be some examples of some expressions. Next, we have numerical expressions. They involve only numbers and operation symbols, but no variables, so they will not have any variables with them algebraic expressions do. So these are some examples of some numerical expressions. Okay, so when we're talking about addition, I want you to understand the language of addition. So sometimes when you have a word problem, addition can be used by other names to represent that they want you to add. So obviously add would be one of them. If you see sum, and, increase, plus, more than, gained, all together. Those are just some examples. They're not the only examples that you might see. So let's look at an example and how, how we would write it numerically. So example one, the sum of six and five. What that means is that you are going to add six and five. Example two, eight increased by 10. So that means you are going to add eight and 10. Next example, example three, the team had 12 points and gained three points. So to figure out how many points they have now, you would add 12 and three. All right, let's look at subtraction, the same thing. Subtraction can go by other names, such as decrease, difference, fewer, less than, decline, minus, take away, remove. Okay, so let's look at some examples and let's write numerical um, representations for them. So example one, the difference of six and five, that what that is saying is that you're going to subtract six minus five. And example two, eight less than 10, this one's a little bit different. It's eight less than 10, so you got to do 10 minus eight. So you kind of flip those. In example three, the visitor team had 12 points. The home team had three fewer points. So to figure out how many points the home team would have, you would subtract 12 minus three. All right, let's look at multiplication. Some other names for multiplication. Per, each, twice, which means that you're gonna multiply by two. Triple, which means you're gonna multiply by three. Times, product, every, by. So let's look at some examples. So example one, the product of six and five, what's that saying is that you are to multiply six and five. This is also another way you can represent multiplication with a dot. I usually don't um, represent it using an X. 
Example two, 60 miles per hour, which would be represented by the variable H in this example. So what it's asking is 60 times H or 60 H. You don't have to put parentheses when you're multiplying by a variable like that. Example three, three dollars for each cookie represented by the variable C. So what it's saying is that it's wanting you to multiply three times C and a more proper way of writing that would just be three C because you don't need parentheses when you're multiplying by a variable like that. All right, last, let's look at division. Some other names for division might be split, quotient, out of, shared, how many in each, half, which means you divide by two, divided by, or group. So example one, the quotient of six and five. What that means is you're going to divide six divided by five. You can also write it like that. Example two, 40 out of n questions. So it's out of n, so you're going to do 40 divided by n. You can also represent it like that. Example three, there are 30 people in five teams. How many are in each team? So what you would do is you take the number of people, the total number of people, 30, and divide it by the number of teams, and that will tell you how many people are in each team. So 30 divided by five. Next, we have equal. Some other names for equal are is, result, equivalent, was, gives, same as, totals, will be. So let's look at some examples of those. So example one, dividing n by two is the same as multiplying n by one half. So to represent that, it would be n over two, because you're going to be dividing equals n and then it's multiplying by one half. And I use parentheses here to represent multiplication. Example two, one fourth is 0 0.25. So that's saying that those are equal. And then example three, the number of B books and N books, notebooks, totals five. So what that's saying is B plus N equals five. 